G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an on the back wheel video. Today I'm reviewing the Pivot Pegs Mark IV. They're currently installed on my KLR 650, but this will give you a really idea of how they perform because all Pivot Pegs are identical bar the mounting points. So let's get stuck in. Before we get into it, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber helps grow the channel and create more content like this. The Pivot Peg Mark IV Edition. I've done a good variety of riding on these. I haven't done them too long, probably a thousand or 1500 Ks, and I have to say they're absolutely fantastic. I love them. We'll start off with the looks. They look absolutely fantastic. I mean, just look at them. They look trick. We'll come around to this side, give you a top-down angle to give you an idea how wide they are. I mean, these things are awesome. They look fantastic, and they look absolutely trick they make your bike look a million bucks one thing i will say is i kind of wouldn't mind if they came in black just because i've done a kind of black build on my bike so i would like some black foot pegs but i can completely understand that due to the pivot action it might be a little bit tough and probably wear out some stuff but overall i think they look absolutely fantastic the build quality is amazing these things are rock solid uh, as I said, I've been doing some hard riding in these and they haven't really worn at all. I lost a little bit of color. These are dirty, mind you. I haven't washed them or anything. Lost a little bit of color, maybe like a little bit dull and I got some scratches here, but very minor. And the pivot action hasn't changed at all. It's very smooth still. It still feels like new. Installing them is very simple. I did do an install and unboxing video, so check that out. But basically, it takes like 10 minutes. That it's really easy to do, it just depends on the bike you got. As I said, this is the new KLR 650, which is the same as all the previous KLRs uh, on how to install your foot pegs. Had no issues at all, and it comes with all the hardware you need to install them. So they look good, the build quality is fantastic, and they're easy to install. You probably don't care, you just wanna know how it is to use a set of pivot pegs. And I've never ridden a bike with pivot pegs in the past, and I have to say, I absolutely love them. When I first got on the bike, it was a little bit just different. I wouldn't say weird or bad, just different because you're sitting down and you got that little bit of tilt. But now I have to say it's absolutely fantastic. I don't have a lot of maneuverability in like my right foot with trying to get it down for rear braking sometimes. This has really helped with that. Also, on the gear lever side, it helps with really getting your foot underneath the gear lever, especially on a KLR 650 where these are notorious for with the stock. Sorry, the wind is going crazy. These are notorious for being hard to get your boot under, whereas this really helps with that. I don't have massive boots, but it's really helped with our changing gears as well. Just up and down makes it really simple. Just gives you that little bit of movement. It's not a lot, just that little bit to really help you out. The foot pegs are absolutely rock solid. They're nice and wide. The teeth are nice and grippy. I'll have to give an update. I wear work boots uh, when I'm commuting on this, so I can't really comment to say if it's ruining your boots or not. You could just put the topper kit on if you've got like uh, nice dress shoes and you're commuting with them or going to the pub or something like that. You don't want to ruin your shoes. They're not that sharp like a motocross boot where they're going to really damage your shoes but there's definitely some grip there. Uh, I've found it's really transformed my riding on the KLR, whereas before, if there's a wet area, I'd really slow down because I didn't want to splash the foot pegs. I didn't want to get my boots wet because then they'd slip off. Now, these do not slip off at all. They're absolutely rock solid, I find. They are fantastic. They're nice and wide, yet plenty of purchase. They're just a really well-made bit of kit. You've probably guessed it, but I really like the pivot pegs. And if you're thinking about buying a set and you've got the money, go for it. They are a little bit pricey, but I do feel you're getting your value for money. The build quality is there, they're well made, and I believe they will last. Time will tell about the pivot function and whether that's going to wear, if it gets junk in or something like that. They have provided me with a rebuild kit. Hopefully I don't have to use it anytime soon. If you are trying to save money, I completely understand if you want to get set of IMS super stocks, they're still a good simple foot peg, but if you're going for a more premium option, I think these are fantastic and definitely worth your money. Okay, I'm gonna wrap things up. If you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the pivot pegs, just put them in the comments down below or send me a message on social media and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, keep it on the back wheel, everyone. Catches.